It's Bob and Tom This Week, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, let's see now. Let's uh, go around the room here. I just realized that, is that correct, that... Josh Arnold is sitting in the orangeinsoles.com sidekick chair. I just saw him. Hi. I see now there's a Chick McGee across the way at the sports desk. How about you? And rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Not sure what's going on. Josh is looking very puzzled at his <laughs> this is new. water this, container. This and he, is new. he has a new uh, decanter, if you will. I have a new water bottle, and yeah. I just went to take a drink out of it, and no water comes out. <laughs> <laughs> we got to figure uh, this out. Oh. I have no idea how this thing works. Uh, is it a suck thing? No, oh, suck it. Try to suck it. Yeah, give it a good suck. There you go. Give it a good yeah. suck. Oh, yeah, there you okay. go. Yeah, suck there it. You go. Well, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I have to siphon water out of this deal? Was that a gift? It was. Uh, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you have the receipt? <laughs> Uh, oh. I need something that looks manly. All right, give me the black one. You, gotta st you have to still have to suck it, though. Oh, oh, yeah. suck it. I don't know. It's got a big filter in there, but I... Oh. That looks very high-tech and ugly. Uh, let's see now. Let's let's switch gears. Okay, uh, that Willie G in. is sitting next to me. Could, could they make that? Can you pick that up with one hand? What is that, four gallons? It's a big, <laughs> it is, it is quite large. It is you feel very that ugly. It's your daily well, limit right now. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, uh, where was I? <laughs> Christy Lee is in the Navy Hi. Federal Credit <laughs> Union newsroom. <laughs> Silence, please. Uh, Pat Godwin is over there. There's Chick. Let's see. Ace Cosby is our engineer. Willie G. This is Tom Speaking. Okay, we're all here. President accounted faster, for. Faster. Uh, all right. Now, got a letter here. Um, He's got a letter. The, when did BOGO become a thing? Buy one, Buy get, one, one. get one. Decades ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Forever, man. Uh, how did I miss that? Yeah, no, well, uh, yeah, none yeah, of us missed that. Oh, my God. The warehouse of things you missed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So, Let's start uh, with anything this century. Uh, no, uh, Chick, you can help me with this one. Um, <laughs> Windsor, uh, over there in Ontario, right? Windsor, yeah, Canada. That's right. And Windsor's of the Knot. Detroit, Windsor. Is yep. famous for... Uh, the Windsor Ballet. And you want to explain what that is? That's good. They're all nude, and they call it... The, you go to the Windsor Ballet with your buddies. It's okay. the Canadian Strip Club. Yeah. 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 But They're it's all apparently. nude. I've never been there. Um, uh, this guy, uh, Ryan, writes... Uh, uh, I, as a young man, just out of college, uh, I went to the Windsor Ballet with some friends to drink and experience the so-called nightlife. Okay. One of the strips had BOGO night, and my friend brought me a white Russian. Okay. We'd been drinking all day, and I said, hell no, I'm not drinking all of that milk on top of all this beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My friend got angry and chugged two white Russians in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> got angry. <laughs> they, are, they are good. You don't want to anger well, drink nothing, a white... What, uh, uh, wait, nothing will make a buddy mad a saying, yeah, I don't want to drink so Okay, go ahead. 20 minutes later, he puked all over himself and the dancer while getting a lap. Oh, oh no. Could, oh. Puke and rally is the uh, I bet, model uh, of these gentlemen. I bet that's happened uh, a couple oh. times. Oh, God. Well, up, up, uh, adult I had heard that it was Ryan's hope. That his friend got <laughs> <laughs> wow. your, your thoughs on a Ryan's wow. Hope joke? That's, that's a soap opera that was on when? <laughs> when? I don't think we had 80s? color TV, did we? 67. Good <laughs> Lord. It was a while ago. No, we were talking about... The, the uh, Kelly's one, uh, ran a bar? <laughs> we were talking about, Ryan's ran a bar. about your first, oh, about okay. the first time you go to a fancy place or whatever and order a drink. It's often based on what you oh see in a God. movie or on TV. Yeah, latch on to... I had an apple cider uh, side Well, I'm dog. sure we could uh, stop talking about this and talk about <laughs> the Golden Globes that everybody watched. Sure, we could. Boy, I bet. Boy, no well, one I cares. I bet they didn't. <laughs> Especially this year, because most people haven't even seen any of this stuff. Yeah. Is the Golden Globes? Well, I don't know. I, I maybe would fight you on that because everybody's sitting at home doing nothing else, yeah. sure. but watching TV. What are you doing? Are you starting your think tank? Is that what? Yeah, you're doing? I know you. Are busy over there that I wouldn't you know, watch the Golden Globes if I were tied to a chair. No, I mean the shows that were nominated. A lot of people did see them because they were sitting at home watching television all yeah. year. Yeah, you hear about a movie now, you don't have to look where it's showing. It's yeah. oh, what channel is it on? I mean, because it's. I there. understand that. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see what happened. Um, uh, but uh, if you'd rather talk about that than no, no, the exciting ahead. world of sports. Want to go over some scores? Well, you know that uh, <laughs> anything I say at this point uh, will be met with uh, 
<laughs> Indifference. <laughs> Next. That sort of chatter. <laughs> Sun and baseball have returned to Arizona and Florida. How about that, Tom? There you go. Spring training game started yesterday, and so have the fans. All 30 teams Sweet. in Major League Baseball allowing fans to return to spring training. <gasps> Not so fast. In a limited capacity. Well, well, well. that's to be expected. Yeah. Amid uh, COVID numbers, safety protocols, the Scottsdale Rockies Diamondbacks game were similar to uh, huh? other sports. <laughs> Safety aren't you glad we? Aren't you glad we moved on? I have a question. Are they? Do they have? I don't have an answer. Concessions. So don't, ask your, don't ask your question. They, oh, oh! I love these questions. How much are the hot dogs? <laughs> I love, you ask such insightful questions. Chick, well, how long are the hot dogs? Yeah, are they small or are they exactly? large? Exactly. And what, where did they get their buns from? No, no. Go ahead. No, no. Prove me right. Give me your first question. of all. I'll tell you one thing. The hot dogs are not as long as that ridiculous drinking device that Josh. Yes. It's I a water bottle. Pardon. It's not a drinking <laughs> device. It's <laughs> fancy. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Josh, can I tell you something? <laughs> Not a joke. I got a new water bottle, and I didn't bring it in because I knew I'd be made fun of for it. Yeah, but it could, it could not be that ugly. Ugly? It's, not it's, bad. A, it's, a, it's a slick black. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's, uh, it's not ugly at all. It you can tell cool. the, uh, the cool, grippy yeah. they're trying to save uh, money by... Um, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> ugly. <laughs> but I just knew, if you try to bring anything new in here, they will make fun of you. They no, wait, you whoa, whoa, down? Whoa, whoa, I don't even out. know. He. he. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. He. He. And then maybe Pat will hop on board. Well, now, once wait a going. minute. Yeah. No. Mrs. Griswold gets in on it every now and then, okay? Yeah. I had mentioned that I felt like I had been using too much plastic, and uh, this was gifted to me, and... Well, you know, I might just go back to the plastic. <laughs> <laughs> you remind you, me. Uh, where you mentioned it was that from the Dustin Diamond will? <laughs> oh, oh, why? Why the Dustin Diamond uh, will? Uh, I, he I popped up on his screen. I don't, I don't know, know where that's that that. <laughs> So you're not pouring water out of the plastic water bottles into that bottle, are you? Oh, you're not supposed to do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is straight out of the faucet. Um, uh, it's got a filter? You remind, yeah, uh -huh. you remind me of how I had uh, these big dreams about switching everything to vinyl. Yeah, that yeah point. I remember I'm going to switch everything it. to vinyl, and then I put I don't know my second LP on the on the turntable. It's like wow, this is really a pain in the ass. <laughs> there is. Man, first of all, both you and I are hearing is so bad these days. Oh, yeah. The best part of vinyl now is we can't hear the. <laughs> Not only that, but my hearing's so bad, Dow, that I... <laughs> What'd you say, Chick? Which I think, ladies and gentlemen, we need to dust off the uh, dust off the show a little bit. Is it bit. time for Eddie's joke of the day? Who's that sexy man with a deep voice? Eddie it's Hazel. Eddie is with his joke of the day. I don't know if this is funny or not. Well, we'll tell you. I've never, well, like <laughs> never stopped you before. I didn't write this one. What's the difference between a golf ball and a car? What's that? Tiger Woods can drive a golf ball 400 yards, no problem. That was Ace Cosby's joke oh. of the day. That was brutal. Yeah. Well. Working, working edgy, Ace. Like I, said, I didn't work. I like it. Don't, 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 the don't, don't read what people send. In. Tiger's a menace on the road. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. Um, the, how's this handicap now? Uh, oh, Christy is Lee is at the uh, is at the Navy Federal Credit Union news desk in Here's the other. Here's something room. that I found, Tom. I don't know if you saw this story. A Texas woman who was in Las Vegas waiting for her flight home to Texas, and we've all seen everybody sitting at the slot machines, right? Don't you tell me this. Three hundred and two thousand dollar jackpot. Good she for hit, her. Chick. Wow. She owes me two hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> of that. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. They notoriously don't pay. At least that's been I the bet, rumor. I bet I've played that slot machine a hundred times. Yeah. I think, yeah. I, but I think Christie's right. They're rated as the yeah. Like the worst, worst odds. The big wow. winner identified only as Megan H. of Flower Mound, Texas, was testing her luck on the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, I love that slot machine. Because then it yells, Wheel oh, of Fortune! fortune. <laughs> 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 it's so much fun. You scream along too. with it. It's fun. Yeah. Yes. Well, good for her. She was in the Airport B concourse See? over the weekend and hit for 300 Gs. Congratulations. I, al I always Man. used to play that one because I figured that they started the rumor that those never pay off. <laughs> yeah. 
So they're going to pay off. Uh -huh. See what I'm thinking? Uh, yeah. <laughs> reverse psychology. Not at all how Vegas works. Not so dumb now, huh? <laughs> yeah, and when, have you, have been... when she was excited when she won, yeah, uh, she very. was shouting hoorays. And here's what she, we have the audio. Oh. Oh my gosh! What is it, Ace? I'm sorry. Man, we have that amount of cash at the at the airport teller. It comes out of the machine, right? Uh, all in coins? Well, yep. they don't. Uh, the all the coins don't do that anymore. Nickels. Yes, they do. <laughs> They're, uh, you get uh, you get slips now. You, you get. I believe the, is, is the term is the correct term um, a chit. I believe you're is correct. It, don't they give you a chit? Uh, yeah. C H I T. I call the chips checks. In yeah, Vegas. they'll say check. They will say checks every now and again. Yeah. But I mean, Stack is, your isn't it? C H I T A chit. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there is a chit. Very awkward for those with a Spanish accent. Oh, <laughs> oh no chit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Would you take a chit with me? What? <laughs> Sir, I beg your pardon. Uh, you must have just been at the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> He's crazier than a chit house rat. Look at him. Uh, well, now. <laughs> what are <you> getting? <laughs> no, no, now we're getting. Now we're getting. Isn't silly. that the right word? Yes, it is the right word. Okay. Yeah, we're I don't not want to arguing. Win a slot machine that pays out in a chit. I want. <laughs> I, want I want the. the oh, the I agree. Of I money. agree. I don't like the one where you walk in and there's someone with a sitting down with an oxygen tank hooked up to them, and so they you don't, don't like the casinos. They, 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 they don't have to pull the arm. They yeah. just take that thing in there, that that tag around their uh, around their neck, and it, shove it in, and just watch their <laughs> money disappear. That's so sad. Is chit a real word? Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a short official note, memorandum, or voucher typically recording a sum owed. Mm -hmm. There, there you, you go. go. Without yeah. a chit for whatever you take from the drinks <laughs> from cupboard. So you take a chit. You take, a, you take a chit. <laughs> and then if you don't give a chit, you can't get your money. <laughs> so because, silly. yes. Yeah, no right. chit. That, that's the, no that's, chit, no service. That's where I heard the term. My buddy Sherlock and I were up. Ah. <laughs> uh, he didn't uh, have a, a chit, did he? You're right. Oh, they, he's very chavvy. The, the chit <laughs> wise has gambler. taken the romance oh. out of the slot machine. Back in the old, remember your hands would get all silver and dirty from yeah, the Yeah, you should at least have to pull the arm down. Yeah, I have I don't play slot. I don't, I don't like anything with a computer in it. I don't trust it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Give me an old-fashioned one-arm bandit. Yeah, that's what you like, huh? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, where do you hold the drumstick? In my other hand. Uh, well, uh, you don't pay the prostitute to do it? Oh, no, I don't. I pay her later for sex. Just, oh. <laughs> Let the man do his own show. <laughs> do you see what you've done? Hi, Pat. How you doing, buddy? Hey, chick, I'm doing good. He looks just like you. He is, his goal, his goal is to become Tom Griswold. He doesn't wear shirts like. Talk this. about personality. I would, I, I would never wear that shirt. Yeah, but look, look looks how, like my aunt Mark's couch. Look at the deep V, though. He's got the deep V going like Griswold does. Look at it. Oh yeah. Gotta Give show a little treat skin, for the baby. ladies. Too hot in here. Hey, Christy. <laughs> hi, Chick. Hey, yeah, it's too hot. Hey. Oh, hi, Willie. Hey, where's Jake? Hey, Josh. <laughs> He's not in there. Has he called anybody? Or? You know, I don't. I, you know, I don't blame him. After the uh, after the shameless <laughs> love for a weird for a new employee yesterday that you exhibited, I, he, we're all sickened by it. He heard it's Eddie's second day. Well, that's right, it is Eddie's second day. I wonder if the cake's going to get here. And uh, not only that, but apparently there's uh, someone in the back is missing uh, an iPod, or an iPhone charger. Uh -huh. And uh, Eddie's first day, something's missing. I don't know. You do the math. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I and you should have seen Tom jump up and go find another charger, protecting his boy. <laughs> Not wanting uh, him to be a suspect in the thieve thievery that's going on. I can't believe this. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, look, look at him. Look, he's get nervous. To the bottom of it. <clears throat> look at him. Just, look just wait till Eddie has to fix something over on your side of the room. Eddie already fixed the stuff over here. He's turned this up. He's, he's adjusted this. We play pomp and circumstance dance. He put, he's gonna be, <laughs> boy, oh boy. I, I know that look. And, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, now entering the studio, 6'2", 240 pounds. Representing Marseille, France. Very nice. Uh, steel, now you're my but, son. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't Ace's fault. Do you have to it's... park in the garage? What happened? <laughs>
Yeah, the luggage water bottle. <laughs> Josh Arnold, ladies and <laughs> oh, I can't believe you brought the water bottle it, back. It, oh, yeah. For returns. day two. I'm in for the long haul. <laughs> boy. That's you'll again, get used man. to sucking like that. <laughs> suck I did. Josh has this and you'll like it. very exotic <laughs> phallic, swallow, phallic black water bottle. <laughs> um, okay. No excuses this morning. It's just one of those where I, <sighs> well, I, I, I uh, was running a couple minutes late. Mm -hmm. If you're but not. Hit every light and got behind Snail Man oh, yeah. <laughs> on the one lane road. And, uh, you know, just okay. one of those. I apologize. I, I like the way you, you have it stressed, though. I like that. Be good to yourself. Don't, don't put any extra pressure on yourself. Oh, no. I, I walked in and heard you guys <laughs> doing the show, and I, well, might as well make a tea. <laughs> I was all, I was already late. At yeah. some point. It's, it's yeah. not it's not like you to weigh in on this first break anyway. Uh, uh, here we go. Here no, we and also go. Josh and I have discussed this. Once you're running late, you accept that you're running late. It's a day as usual. Yeah. What can you do? And, I, I, I'm, okay. not, I'm not proud of it. I, uh, and once he's labeled you as whatever he labeled you, <laughs> right. you're that for life, no matter what. <laughs> Josh is always late and never talks yeah, this during is, the first hour. This here has been go. happening at least once a month. I need to. Uh, uh, you know what? Well, let's go through your routine. Let me see oh, if we sure. can fix yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, did you set an alarm? I absolutely do. Yeah. What, time, you, what time do you get up? Uh, 4.45, but I usually get up earlier than that. Now, when you woke up this morning, did you notice that? My balls were hot. Your <laughs> balls were hot? I noticed, I didn't feel that they were uh, temperature hot, uh -huh. but yeah. they were... Um, loose. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's funny because I'm having a ball issue <laughs> today as well. Oh, you are. What the hell is wrong with you guys? Well, Christy, well, let Christy, me explain. Have you, ever get, out, you ever get out of the bed and you hop up and everything just drags underneath you and you get, get, get caught and then go, like, oh my God. Thankfully, not to that yet. Okay, okay. now I have a, I don't know if, can you see the white through oh, my hand? Yeah, 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 sure. Please sit down and don't point to that area. You my maniac. God, man. Oh, geez. I, um, you have a little too much powder today? Yeah, the lid fell off the powder oh thing. And, I mean, it's literally coming down by my socks. What do oh, you boy. have going on down there? You need that much powder. Well, I don't need that much powder. I, yeah, I've got the... Oh, the lid came off. You know, the what's that brand of stuff? Why do you that, need powder at all? Gold Bond. Gold Check. Bond. Yeah, I've got the Gold Bond body powder. I was putting... You, you pick oh. up the top of your underpants and right. put a little dose down there. Have you seen them do this? And, when the, he, and when the top came off. So it, it looks like I've spilled gold metal flour all over over my genitals. When, the, oh. when he taps his crotch, he looks like LeBron James doing that pregame. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, it's, 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 it's junk it's, looks like fried chicken before it goes in the fryer. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I'll, I'll be at the, the... Good Lord. Like a large drumstick. Uh, the turkey, I would have preferred. The, <laughs> the point is, oh, yeah, it's... Um, uh, I... I even smelled my hands now smell like gold. Yeah, the, the lid came off the thing. I okay. uh, had a lot of powder. So by the end of the there. day, will there be a um, a paste? Or will it <laughs> That's a maybe fair some paper mache? <laughs> paper mache is junk. <laughs> and maybe there'll it. be a it'll be like a life mask. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so happy to be a girl in all my life. I've never been a powder. You know powder? Guy. No, no, no I don't powder. No powder. I don't okay. have I don't know what issues. You, you feel like the issue you have, you need powder. I no, think never powdering was a thing of the last, last century. Yeah. I feel like that was a big 1800s thing. <laughs> I think it's, it might still be fairly are you popular a, with Are some. you a powder? Do you prepare in that area? No, of course way? I don't. You powder. should start. I, I have creams. Heavenly. I have lotions. I have serums. I, I don't have, have a powders. cream. I have a cream that goes to a powder occasionally. I look like donut holes down there. You're, you, got the, you got the whole part right. Oh, no. You know, those, those ones that are sprinkled in the oh, right. Oh, okay. I'm like yeah. donut hole, like powdered Christy, sugar. Christy, I'm not joking. You're talking about powdered sugar. That yeah. No, I'm talking, um, yeah. In that yeah. analogy, yeah. You have a uh, con confectioner's crotch, if there you will. You go. Oh, <laughs> yes. How about that? Doesn't yeah. that sound like the, oh. a chapter heading <laughs> in some <laughs> bad novel? Yes. Confectioner's crotch, chapter seven. <laughs> By W. Somerset Mall. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Bob and Tom Show! <laughs> Blatant hostility since 1982-ish? Are you running a fever? No. Okay. okay. You want me to kiss your forehead, see if you have a fever? I don't have a fever. I already checked. I just have a throat. I have a laryngitis thing going. See, and oh, uh, by the way, the, the more you mention how, how he feels, the yeah. madder he gets. Okay. Hi, Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick McGee. Hello, Josh Arnold. Hey, Chicky. Hey, Christy. Hi, Chick. Hey, Ace. My dirty. Willie. Chick. 
<laughs> Go ahead, me. sexy man. Listen to this voice. Sexy. I sexy. feel for you, man. Does it yeah. hurt? Are you okay? Sexy Tom. I just, uh, my voice just. Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. It's, I don't know what's happening it's over here. You know what? It's not bad. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for I hope much. you feel okay because it sounds yeah. real good. <laughs> We'll be uh, checking out a new side. Okay. Uh, right. from, uh, right. from Miles. Yeah. Uh, that is kind of what it sounds like. Called uh, yeah. Kind of Turquoise. <laughs> yeah. uh, kind of when, when Miles went to New Mexico and yeah. I got into it in Santa Fe. Yeah, man. Uh, back to the okay. audience, funny you know. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, that was, uh, by the way, we opened up with Todd Snyder and the alternate version of the song Iron Mike about Mike Tyson. Why was Mike on the news again? He's... Uh, uh, something about pot or something? Oh, we were talking about him because of pot. He was smokes forty thousand dollars a month. A month. Or yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Said? All right. Mm -hmm. and, and he's going to apparently do some more fights. Okay. Well, well, that, that was uh, the great Todd Snyder, most famous on this show for the song "Beer Run," which that was not. No. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, and we have a plenty coming up in sports, but the most important thing coming up today is uh, your help. That's right. We need your help because uh, Chick is. Announced that he's getting a new tattoo. Yep, and it's up to you. Whatever is suggested that for the purposes of this conversation happening right now, that's the tattoo I'm going to get. And and the key to this is um, you have a spot. You're, you're out of balance. Is that correct? Yeah, Explain. I have like, uh, I think I have seven now. Oh, seven. yeah, you got to have an even number. Or, no, I have seven or eight, but I like odd oh. numbers. You do? So, yeah, odd numbers oh. are my favorite. So, But... You only have you have, have one on one the right my, side of your chest. I have one on my left chest. I need one on my right chest. My massive pecs. Okay. What's on your left chest? It's a uh, it's a, a mythological creature. Yes, uh, and then on the right. All right, and the right chest. I'm going to get. Um, well, uh, the, the suggestions have been many and varied. Uh, the one I, I got a glimpse of it this morning coming in, uh, a tombstone oh. with, uh, with my name and the Washington football team name, Redskins, on the tombstone. Oh, Which I thought, man. wow. Well, because wow. The, that's that's so, so the, the name so is funny. being they, I know the listeners love me. There's no doubt about it. But uh, that cuts a little. Okay, well, so, um, uh, we'll get to some of those suggestions. Um, a number of them want your, your phrase... Most recently, you how, how about you? How about you has become your phrase, but mm -hmm. for those familiar with the show, these phrases tend to they fade come, away. They, they come and go. Mm -hmm. uh, also, coming in hot was just before that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'd forgotten yeah. about coming in hot. I was trying to remember that. And then what was the other thing? Oh, the the sports, sports dinosaur. What was it? Sports rack. Oh, I never yes. really liked that because that was uh, you know what someone else's suggestion. You loved really, it. I didn't really. <laughs> you really. Yes, you really there are a number suggesting some kind of a uh, <laughs> a dinosaur. Wearing a Washington Redskins jersey with Sports Asaurus Rex. And again, we're f fully aware that the Redskins name is being retired. I think you need something very simple and classy. Is there anything funnier than that Larson uh, cartoon where the dinosaurs are standing around smoking? And the uh, caption is the real reason the dinosaurs <laughs> are extinct. Okay, no one's funnier than that. No one's that, funnier that, than that. That's absolutely. Larson. Isn't, no, it no time, isn't it time <laughs> that you get a Looney Tunes tattoo? Oh, boy. You know, my favorite Looney Tune is Daffy. You know? Oh, that'd be cute. And that's the one where he's looking, <laughs> just scowling. Is that, that right, right straight ahead? It's right oh, straight dude, ahead. Right on your, oh, that would be good. Right on your right back. Right right mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, um, give that to the ladies. Here you go, huh? Uh, Rick suggests a heart. Okay. A heart. Oh, because with, I've had some. With, with shock paddles on I it. Have, okay. I've had some I don't think, issues. And, uh, I don't stent. think that is funny that we're no. suggesting that he get anything about no, no. hearts or stents. See, it, it used to be better. <laughs> I think we should relax. I don't even think Maybe guys... there could be a vetting process we go through before we read these. You guys probably don't even know this. <laughs> what kind of time last... do you think I have? I can't vet all these. I'm just reading them as the, they come the by. The last uh, adventure I had at the hospital yes. where a stent was placed, uh, it was the first time that my uh, EKG was abnormal. Oh really? So I've never really had a heart attack, but that's as close as I've come this past <laughs> this past visit. So maybe who who knows? Fingers crossed. This <laughs> next time it'll be it'll be all kinds of fun. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Yeah, listen to this. This feels nice. good, doesn't it? Oh, that's right. That's the spot. Whoa, snap you gotcha. back. And live on the scene with the latest news, it's Jess Hooker. Jess, now. <laughs> Jess, you got a new hairdo. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, you look like you should be the Washington correspondent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And is that? Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Don't take this the wrong way. But did you did oh, you God. match your lipstick to your shirt? Is that how that works? Yeah, I usually do. That yeah. looks very nice. <laughs> now Christy can't do that because she's got like a dark blue shirt on. It would look really weird if you had blue lips. Yes, it yes. would. Is that I'd blue or dead. green? It looks like green to me. It's gray. It's gray actually. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gray lips would be bad. That'd be the first phase of death. <laughs> yes. Probably. Uh, 
Let's see now. Um, <laughs> where was I? Uh, oh, I, Jess Hooker has joined us. Thank you, Jess. Uh, and Hi, Jess. Uh, hey, Jess, Hi. I don't know if you, Jess, did you hear that Eddie, we have a new employee, Eddie Hazel has joined <laughs> our staff. I did. Here. So I talked to Eddie the other day and he said, I'm really excited. You know, I, I'm officially a part of the team. And I said, welcome. And he said, I'm just really excited to be working in such a creative capacity now. So who's he working for? I don't know. Oh, That's okay. what I said. I said we, all, we all started here really hoping to work in a creative uh, capacity. Okay. Eddie just told me that uh, his salary came out of uh, what was to be Ace's raise. Oh, oh is that right? Yeah. 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 A lot of jealousy. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, not just Ace's race, all you guys. <laughs> what? Oh, well, that's fine. Oh, uh. Eddie is awesome. When I when I was an intern here, they warned me about Eddie's sexy eyes. Because oh. Eddie's got really sexy eyes. I've never don't stared look, into them. Yeah, well, don't. don't. You're not supposed well, to. obviously, Tom has many times. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, roll over, Eddie. I want to see your eyes. Whoa, I've never, I've never. Oh, I was just going to say, I've never looked into his eyes. I'm too busy looking at his crotch. Uh, hey. I think you're sexually harassing our newest employee. Where was I? Now, I was... Jess, aren't you in charge of cooking Eddie's birthday cake? Is that going to happen? Is that what you're doing? What, um, if I'm here, I will. Oh, yeah. yeah. If I'm right. here, I will. When is that? Uh, Friday. It's Friday. Oh, oh yeah. Is his Friday. favorite cake is Chantilly. No, it's not. Ace, shut up. <laughs> uh, our, our cake lady's out of town this week. So. Yes, oh. she is. Well, let's move on here. There's, you know, there's yeah. Ace, Ace, Chick. Uh, let's see. Josh, of course, at theorangeinsouls.com. Um, sidekick chair. Hi. Uh, just in time to get your feet set and get feeling good in life. We have uh, <laughs> wow, Christy Lee right there in the Navy sure Federal Credit Orange Union newsroom. Inside. Godwin's over there. There's Willie G. And um, where were we? Oh, I uh, now Jess, actually, this is, I'm, I'm, you're here at just the right time. Okay. Um, uh, Chick has stated he's going to get a new tattoo. I know that you are heavily tattooed on one arm. Is that correct? One arm, yes. My left arm is a complete sleeve. A sleeve. Yes. Um, Chick, do you have any tattoos below the the elbow on the either arm? Uh, yeah, on both arms. Okay, on you got the feather, arm. right? I got the feather and I got the uh, the headdress, now, which now is, I got to cut my arms <laughs> off, evidently. Uh, Chick has said he's getting another tattoo, but he, he won't say what it is exactly. You don't know where? Do you know where you're going to I don't it? know where. It's up to oh, uh, it's up he, to people emailing. Well, you like to keep it even. I you, do like to keep it even. Yeah. I have something on this chest, so I need something on this chest. Ah, yeah. Okay. Well, I, well, how about resuscitate no matter what? <laughs> Exhaust all. Exhaust all means. Scientific yes. possibility. <laughs> if the technology exists, carry my head around with you in a bowling oh, ball bag. Freeze me if you have to. Yes. Yeah. Freeze okay. me, whatever. <laughs> Keep me alive. Oh. Um, we've got some suggestions here. Before we get to that, uh, we have... Is this a joke? I, I wrote a joke, but I don't know if it's good. Go for it. Let's hear it. Let's, hear it. Let's, it. Let's workshop this. Yeah, I have this. a uh, sleeve tattoo on my left arm. Uh -huh. It's a sleeve of Thin Mints. Oh. Is that a joke? Uh, the Thin Mints come in. Liked it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they come yeah. in. Might, uh, might, yes. might be a chick joke. It might be a chick joke. It might be an ace joke. I thought Junior Mints instead of Thin Mints. I did too. Maybe well, just... that's your fault because I said Thin Mints. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, I was gonna say, say th sleeve of Girl Scout cookies, you jerk. I was going to help. Oh, okay, how about that? Try, you, it, try, try it again. I got a sleeve. I got a sleeve. Oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wait. Uh, Oreos will work the best. A sleeve of Oreos yeah, will work perfect, the best. Perfect. I got a sleeve tattoo on my left arm. Oh, you oh, did? You a got what? A sleeve of uh, Oreos. <laughs> and, uh, no, go no, with Fig no, Newton. You know what? I think Tim. Dark uh, Tim. I think. Uh, <laughs> I think Tom might Steve. be right on this. Yeah, no, there's uh. no joke. We need to find the right, I think we found the right cookie. We It, it would go. Okay, yeah. all right. Send in your cookies. Okay. Like macaroon, maybe. A sleeve of macaroons. Macaroons, that's funny. Macaroons. That's a funny, macaroons. funny name of a cookie. Macaroons You guys funny. know I got a, 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 a <laughs> no. sleeve tattoo on my left arm? Yeah. It's a sleeve of macaroons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's got potential. Yeah, yeah. About green you you delivered it. Like you delivered it well. Once you stumbled on the first word, you got to you got to yes. sell the hell out of it. <laughs> okay, um, read the tattoo story, Christy, because this is a very disturbing. A woman has completely lost the sight in one eye and will soon be blind in the other after getting her eyeballs dyed black. Oh no, Alexandra Sadosaska from Poland took the risky decision to try and emulate a rapper named. Popek, famous in her homeland for having the whites of his eyes dyed black. Alexandra has since lost the sight in her right eye and been warned the irreparable damage will soon claim the vision in her left as That's well. That's awful. Yeah, it is terrible. What a, a terrible mistake. <sighs> what an idiot. Yeah, you don't do that. Do no, you, you don't Come do on. that. Rough, yeah. I. <laughs> that sounds that rough. That's <laughs> stupid. Yeah, it is stupid. 
I, uh, We've had these stories before where people get eye tattoos and... And Tom always makes a point to say, yeah, most ophthalmologists say, do Does it, not ever. Most. Yeah. Does it, well, you, there are some bad ones you, out there. If you find an eye surgeon or eye doctor that goes, you know what you need to do? Stick needles in your eyes and dye that white part. Because it looks dumb being white and everything. <laughs> But you can't feel anything in the, the white part of your eye, can you? Except pressure. I don't think. Are there any nerve endings? In the, um, let's start that rumor. I have oh, had boy. I have had a couple of needles in my eye for some surgery. Yeah, and right. Yeah. I was so terrified. I don't remember if there was any pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, pretty scary. But no. Yeah, because you can't close your eyes to look at it. Well, well, they, yeah, they, well, this gal. The good news for this gal is she's never going to have to look at herself. I'd imagine that uh, Polish uh, rap music must be the worst music <laughs> on the face of the earth. Well, the, all music? the sounds of Bowling get in the way of the hearing the lyrics. Tom. <laughs> when I go to bowl, you know how it rolls. Stuff like that. Yeah. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Um, well, just incredibly stupid. Yeah. We were just talking about uh, the very hairy Dr. Oz. Mm. Uh, very heroic move. For the second time in a couple years, Dr. Oz uh, helped save a uh, person in a public place. Uh, so bravo to Dr. Oz. He really is a you physician, do story of course. Now? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a great story. Dr. Oz helped save a man at Newark Liberty International Airport. This happened late Monday night when Port Authority of New York and New Jersey police officer Jeffrey Croissant saw a 60-year-old. <laughs> sorry. It's Jeffrey not, Croissant. That's his name. Wow. Saw a man, 60 years old, fall to the floor near the baggage claim area. According to the Port Authority, Croissant called for backup and a cup of coffee and began performing <laughs> CPR on the unidentified man who was not breathing and did not appear to have a pulse. Yikes. Dr. Oz, Mehmet Oz, a cardiac surgeon and longtime host of the TV show, Dr. Oz Show, happened to be nearby and came to the rescue. Wow. According to Croissant, he performed CPR on the man. Oz worked to clear the airway with a face pack, tongue-depressing oral airway device. Three other officers brought oxygen and a defibrillator for the man who eventually regained a pulse and was oh. taken to a hospital well, for they, evaluation. The other doctors had all the tools. Well, they had... What? Okay, he helped. I think the story should say Dr. Oz was there. No, no, no. He's the first one that did CPR, and then he uh, <laughs> he immediately jumped he cle on me. cleaned the guy. He cleared up the guy's <laughs> airway. He saved his life. Okay. I just think it's funny that the cop's name is uh, Officer Croissant. Me too. This guy, this guy's gonna be able to say I'm the first person in the history of the world saved by a croissant. Oh. Uh, uh, usually. Saved by uh, croissant. I'm sure he's uh, had to remove the. Uh, remnants of many a croissant from the arteries of uh, <laughs> many of his patients. Dr. Oz, yeah. yeah. That's a cool story. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, the other three guys do it. <laughs> the other three guys, <sighs> they, they have uh, defibrillators all over airports. No, they and they do. got I've there very quickly. One. Have you ever seen one? Do you know where to look? No. I would think you'd hover near them. <laughs> oh, I would imagine they're next to the Cinnabon. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, we have Christy Lee at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. We were discussing Dr. Oz. Yes. And he did help save this guy's life, certainly. Of course. And I just mentioned that um, I was watching an episode not too long ago, and he was uh, swimming, and he is a very hairy man. Hmm, okay. And uh, for some reason that segued into uh, Christy's... Uh, interest in the hairiest of men. That is not what happened. Oh, I'm you sorry. Are I'm a little under the weather. I may have missed the... Uh, yeah, you are you, totally putting yeah, words you. in my mouth. You asked me if I liked a hairy man. I said, it doesn't turn me off. And then you insisted that I was huh. turned on by the hairiest of asses, which is not true. <laughs> I've never <laughs> encountered a hairy ass. You've never encountered a hairy ass? No. Never, never. No. God, I remember when I was in camp and one of the counselors was uh, changing and I, I could not believe it. Really? Wow. Yeah, oh, geez, it was like a monkey. Oh, <laughs> uh, how so, about that? Uh, uh, let's see now. Uh, we move over to the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom with Christy Lee. What else is happening over there? Dating app bios have adapted to the pandemic. Keywords like COVID vaccinated and fully vaccinated have started dominating bios, especially on Tinder, uh, where they reported a 258% rise in users hmm. mentioning the word vaccine in recent months. Makes sense. Yep. Yeah. No, what were you saying about a passport or something, Christy? Yeah, New York City apparently is going to be handing out a passport, or they're talking about handing out a passport that would show whether you've been vaccinated or not so that you could go into a sporting event or a concert, per se, or you know, or if you've had a negative COVID test within you know X amount of hours or days for the event. But people are putting this in, they're putting in their profile 
On the dating app, yeah. Yeah, COVID uh, vac vaccinated, that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I know I don't have it anymore. I can smell my farts. Yeah, here's here's exactly. my phone number. Give me a call. I, <laughs> <laughs> I well, got, look at this winner. <laughs> I, I, I got through Ebola and malaria and now COVID. Want to go on a date? Yeah. Uh, yeah, is, I heard. Is, is there, is there going to be some kind of a forum you get when you have both vaccinations or you whatever? You get a form right now. You get a card. I got my first oh, really? shot yesterday. You didn't get one? You get a card? You got so, a card. It's like, I voted. Yes, and it's got your date and what you received and where you received it in your right or left arm. And then, but I mean, is it just like a little sticker you'd get when you vote, or is it something really official? You didn't get one? Now, from what I've read, oh. you get a, a tiny microchip every time, oh. you a, ah. every time you get a vaccine. So <laughs> That's helpful, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, I little, happen to have one. Card, no, the yeah. microchip, Don't shoot the messenger. No, the microchip, it is really helpful, because when you check out the grocery store, they know what cigarettes you smoke already. <laughs> so you can yeah, get a couple nice? packs. Yeah, I get a card every time. It's super easy. <laughs> Right now we're talking about uh, Chick McGee's podcast. No, I'm sorry, Chick McGee's tattoo. tattoo. Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me. Oh, oh Chick, you would get your old podcast logo. Maybe tattoo. so. Maybe so. Yeah. Uh, this is a pretty good one. I just sent it to Chick. Did you uh, see this? Uh, I don't know what it's you're a, thinking, but okay. It's a pretty good design. First uh -huh. of all, go ahead, explain it. Um, it I'm, is. I'm against it. Willie, can you see this? It's a. It says Turducken. And it's oh. got a pretty good drawing of a turkey with a uh, duck inside it and a chicken inside the duck. I love that, Chick. I mean, think of that. You would never have to explain that to anybody. No, no. You would never. People would get it right away. You're never, you're, you have your shirt off by the pool. You're getting surgery. You never go, oh, no, it's this whole, there's this guy, Jeff Bodart, and he told this story, and it wasn't very... I don't think t uh, Chick is very guilty of uh, committing turduckens. Uh, certainly not. I don't think any. As guilty we as I. hardly understand what the term turducken means, and I'm on the show. I think so. Jeff Bodart's the only one that's allowed to have that. Comedian Jeff Bodart. Uh, yeah. I, I did, this would be perfect for him. Right. It'd be perfect for Jeff. Yeah, it would. But not for Chick. Okay. All right. Um, Maybe we could talk him into getting a tattoo. Okay. I think we could do that. I don't know. How about this one? Now, once again, your tattoo artist friend is coming to town mm -hmm. couple in weeks. a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. um, this is a good suggestion. This comes to us from Nelson. It says, Chick's been on the radio most of his adult life. How about a tattoo of an antique desktop old-fashioned radio with a microphone and the call letters of your choosing? Oh. That's too serious and sounds very lame. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, Nelson. I thought it was a great idea. No, it's a very Nelson. nice idea, Nelson. Nelson we have enough listeners. Stop listening. So no, you don't have Nelson, a microphone no. currently on your body, right? No. And technically, that was oh. Nelson the band, so it was two listeners. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> I thought about getting a microphone. I thought I'd get something out of base out of that, but no. You want to get a microphone tattoo? I just thought about it. Um, growing up around here, yeah. Jimbo had a microphone tattoo that I always thought was really cool. Yes, he yeah, did. he did. And so I've always thought of getting, if I ever were to get another tattoo, microphone's always been on my short list because of Jimbo, because of, you know, radio, because I do stand-up. Sure. Maybe a microphone would be a good yeah, idea. Yeah, that's and a I good hope, one. Uh, We all hope Jimbo comes back. Of course, if he does, we have to fire Eddie. Oh, um, <laughs> oh gosh. No, you I know, Eddie and Jimbo used to be days. roommates, Jimbo too. Jimbo might love Eddie more than you do, yeah. which is almost impossible. I know, which yeah. is why it's going to be really tough when he comes back and we have to fire Eddie. He just got here. <laughs> I say we let them fist fight. <laughs> okay. Whoever wins gets the job. Oh, okay. I got Eddie. Yeah, I'll, take, I'll take Eddie in that one. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Jimbo has very brittle bones. I'll we love you, Jimbo. I, I, I'm aware. Oh. I'm, I'm friends wiry. with Jimbo. Yeah, okay. he's wiry. Anyway, if you've got a, a, a suggestion for Chick's tattoo, I, I really like that turduck, and that would be great. We've got to send this to Mr. Bodart. <laughs> The way this works is Allie gets letters at Allie Breen and all the social mm -hmm. media platforms, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E, -E, and Allie, go. What do you got? Dear Allie, my girlfriend was looking for a picture in her phone, and as she was scrolling through, I saw a D pic that was not mine. Okay. I was like, whoa, back up, what's that? And she said her best friend sends them to her when she gets them because they think it's funny. Should I believe her? And if that's true, why would she keep it in her phone? I, I believe her. I believe, I believe her because yeah. that yeah. is something that's yeah. funny. Yeah. When it happens yeah. again, when it happens again, what the guy should do is go, oh my God. That's your dad. Oh. <laughs> Tom, but are you how would he know that? Yeah. That's the joke, you see. Would you just want to hang out with somebody who like, keep this penis picture? As a, it's a keepsake. You know, we thought it was funny. <laughs> what? Really? Well, he, he could he could say, hey, do you want me to delete this real quick for you? That kind of thing. But yeah, I would right. delete it. There's no I mean, reason not to deal. believe it. No, Christy, do you believe that someone would do that? They would, they would call you up and go, hey, look, I'm going to send you a picture I got. You're not going to believe this. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 
I think it's okay. Well, Willie, your no thoughts? Biggie, if it's not a big deal, delete um, it. I don't know. I I don't want to. If 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 this story were about a guy and a guy had a picture of another girl, that would be really creepy and weird. And I don't want to have some weird gender thing here, but yeah. I don't think you should be. When a nude is sent to you, that's for your eyes only. You shouldn't be sharing that with your pals. Well, right. that's fine, but that's. Yeah. Yeah. I, like I mean, that's, that's, a, that's kind of a different issue, though. <laughs> I, I I don't think this girl. I, I, I totally believe her. Well, her saving it to her phone, that's the weird thing for me. Yes. I don't think so. I think exactly. It, it I sounds do, like I it was agree. just in the text message, and as he was scrolling, he may have saw it. No, it said she was in, looking through her photos. Right, so he, I, but I think it's become an in-joke between friends, and every now and again, they'll just each randomly send that oh, photo Oh, yeah, to they other, might be doing that. make each other laugh, mm -hmm. and I think that's totally fine. But I don't, I'm but not okay with that. But why did she keep it? It's it really, I just explained. It's really <laughs> difficult. Okay, so you keep a picture of a random bush that you get. <laughs> right. You're going to keep that. Isn't that funny? If what, you and I had an over? ongoing in-joke about it, in fact, yesterday, <laughs> oh, oh, we, had an, oh. we have an inside joke about something, and I sent you a picture yesterday, and you went, thank you for this. I needed it. Remember? Well, let me take a look and see wh who's... Penis at once. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know. If she was cheating, she probably would have deleted it. Right, right. right. Yeah. She's not, That's she, a good point. But also, do innocent. you want... Delete it. Do you want the picture of your boyfriend's anyway? I mean... It's not hers. It's not her yeah. This is just some strange D pick that the girl got, and then... But no, no, but I'm, I'm asking a different question. Is that something that you would oh. keep, Allie, if... I mean, I've I've had both things. I've had unsolicited, which I never keep, or I will send to friends as a joke if they're terrible. But, but, I mean, <laughs> but if, yeah. if it was a if totally, the guy that you're, I, I, if the guy that you're seeing right now sent you one, would you would you keep it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> what is okay. that weird? No, yes, no, no, you're fine. Not, you're no, fine. Go to jail. It's fine. You should be in jail. <laughs> you're but fine. your boyfriends, of course. Why what do you mean, of course? It? What do you want that for? Well, maybe she wants what to masturbate to him. Yeah. <laughs> well, now that's Tom? even worse. Why things you can do with that? Now that's even worse. Why it is isn't? that worse? <laughs> Normal human behavior. What? Sexuality. Do you, uh, you send out yeah. the pictures there, Josh? Some of them are good. I don't, but I have when they were solicited. I've never sent out an unsolicited. Now, do you do you do it, um... Do you add any like? Do you do any staging? Do you? No. Uh, is there? Do you have some kind of object within sight of it so you can get a sense <laughs> of scale? scale? I don't put anything in the picture for scale, and I don't remove anything. I just if it's. Have uh, you considered going and buying one of those eight by ten frames at Michaels and then just holding it right this there? This has to so be the number I'm one not. reason you and I aren't lovers. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I think you're right. I think the that's one thing. That's yeah, we would be. We I can't would, believe you think this is such a big deal, Tom. Fighting about that's this. Not. It's not a big. It's. It's not are, a big deal. It wouldn't be a big deal for you to to keep a picture of Josh's penis well, and send that, it to you for a joke. That would be different because I know Josh. If exactly. it's much, unsolicited, much, uh, so uh, uh, a Josh, penis. I'm about to give. I'm doing you a favor here, Josh. How much memory do you have in your iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> so if your girl sent you guys, a naked picture, Tom, you wouldn't keep it in your phone. She wouldn't, and I wouldn't, and I don't. No, I'm, I'm. If my I'm girlfriend so had sent a naked picture, sure I'd keep it. Right. Well, then what is the difference if Allie keeps so a picture? So you're saying you don't, you don't have one, huh? So you're no, saying you're not getting me to do that. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.